No. Sleeve length should ideally be taken with a nicely fitting jacket on the shoulders already. There's no absolutely correct length to it, but most people do like to show about a quarter or a half an inch of cuff underneath. Uh, it's good to um, measure correctly with or without the uh, cuff showing so that you get the correct length anyway, regardless of the shirt. The measure is taken from the center of the cuff directly up to the crown. So we're going to anchor our tape here and we will run it. I'm just pulling the tension in the, uh, the sleeve, any creases out as well. So we've got a measure now to the top point of the crown here, like so. Now it is perfectly possible to get a really good sleeve length without a jacket. The way to do that is to uh, understand where these two starting, the starting point and the finishing point is. We can do the starting point by two methods. From the tip of the thumb, plus five inches, it's going to give us the starting point. And that also equates to the crease line that forms when the hand is held back like so. So that's our first starting point there. The second point we're going to aim at is obviously to the top of the crown here. So, having established where we'd like the sleeve length to be, at this point here, the crease line, um, we're going to take the tape about one inch below that point, and that's going to accommodate for the lack of a shoulder pad at this end. So, uh, halfway between the top of the thumb there and the crease line there, we're going to place our tape on the back of the palm, and we're going to run the tape up from there to the point here where the bone is and we'll ignore the shirt crown completely because that's uh, a little bit over, uh, over the edge of that. So we want to be there and that measure is going to be exactly the same as if we'd measured with a garment with a sleeve in.